for the month that I wasn't home, I had to catch up on the things that I didn't do. Uh, didn't do. For example, my license was about to expire on my birthday. I had to go to the DMV. When I went to the DMV, come to find out I had to take my regular motor vehicle um, test over my combination, my air brakes, and general knowledge. all right drivers what's going on welcome back to the channel thank you very much for listening and giving us your time that is what's up we just come to find out through spotify because our podcast is on the spotify platform if you guys want to just listen to the podcast and not watch the youtube video you guys could definitely go over to spotify look up your favorite youtubers channel which is the lockout men podcast show and we have all the episodes of the podcast that you love here on youtube being simultaneously uploaded and you can enjoy it on spotify spotify make sure you guys download the spotify app and lock in the lockout men podcast show on spotify today's story time comes from a young lady from tiktok her name is a y g that's brie a that's brie and she is here to tell a story about why she left rail transport now in this story right here kind of gets a little triggering for some people because this is a new driver so you definitely got to understand that and make sure that you keep that in your mind as you're listening to the story no more wasting time let's get it hold on hey y'all i know this is well overdue but people keep asking me why i left rail and i'll tell you why i left rail the company was not for me and in my opinion it might not be for everybody else, but I'm just giving you my experience. It wasn't for me. But um, the reason why I left rail, because as a person, I felt used. I understand that they have a training program put into place, but it just didn't sit right with me. Like me driving from Gary, Indiana, all the way back to Georgia for a hundred something dollars. And my trainer is getting all the mileage pay. That just didn't sit right. For me. That just didn't sit right with me. Like, and you had to complete, I believe, five solo loads. And the whole time you're completing these solo loads, you only get paid, trained and pay a hundred something dollars and maybe $132. Don't quote me $160 a day. Now, let me just say, training pay ain't all that great. It isn't, <laughs> let's be fair, it isn't. But you gotta understand that is training pay. Now, of course your driver trainer of course they're going to get all the all the miles all the money all the all the perks that come with training because that's what they're doing they are training you you are there to learn now don't get me wrong i mean the thought of making money doing my training wasn't a big deal to me because i i already knew when i signed on that dotted line what it was going to be how much i was going to get i was just concentrating on learning and getting everything that I need to know experience wise. But your trainer is receiving all the mileage pay. Okay, so if you drove 800 miles, all that money is going to your trainer. I just felt used. That's their program. I mean, that's just how it is. Me, I felt used. Um, the number one reason why I quit was because of the micromanagement. Now I understand you feel used. I, I felt used too. When I was being trained of course, I was the one that was doing all the driving. I was the one that was doing all the backup. And all my trainer was doing was just sitting back and relaxing and collecting the mileage pay. I get it. But still, I am the trainee. I knew what I signed up for. So I knew that I wasn't going to get all the money. And yeah, maybe you could feel some kind of way. But sometimes you got to put your feelings aside to get what you need so that you can move on the money will the money is not there but the money will eventually be there when you get up to that level of expertise micromanaging i get it i don't like it but again that's something comes with 
being a trainee. I had just got home after being home, um, after being out with a trainer for a month. I didn't even get a full three days before they was trying to send me back out for the next load. Like I, I felt like it was inconsiderate. I was like, dang, I was out for a month. Like at least give me three, three days home time. She was instantly ready to get me in my truck, get me to rolling. And I had stuff at home that had backed up for the month that I wasn't home. I had to catch up on the things that I didn't do. I didn't do. For example, my license was about to expire on my birthday. I had to go to the DMV. When I went to the DMV, come to find out I had to take my regular motor vehicle, um, tests over my combination, my air brakes and general knowledge. She wasn't aware of this. I told her, I said, Hey, I have to up, I have to, I have to update my CDL because it's getting ready to expire. She had to update her license, right? But I think what she had to do was probably update her license with the state because if she went through rail, the, the CDL school part of rail, then I think you probably had to get your, your, your license like there, right? The CDL permit, because I'm, this is what I'm thinking. She's driving up under right now. She's driving up under her CDL permit. And I guess she had to update the permit over to the state that she was in. She's so busy trying to get me on the low. I cannot drive a truck. My license is getting ready to expire. And I had to keep conveying to her, hey, I have to study this stuff. I graduated at, I graduated CDL um, school months ago. I don't remember this stuff. So you have to give me some days to study this stuff to update my CDL. It was no type of consideration. The long story short, I quit and I set the notice. Um, another thing that rubbed me the wrong way was Rail wanted to talk about safety. When I was with my trainer, I was out with my trainer. We went to a yard. The, the trailer had four bad tires, four, four bad tires. And instead of them having us to leave that trailer there and have maintenance come out to repair the tires and then we could take the load, they made him drive that trailer on them tires to the repair shop. Where's the safety that you so big on? Then not only that, not only that, we both was out of hours. So we had to get like a bear. It's something called a bear of something where you get approved to drive the truck, where you get approved to drive the truck. Personal convenience. And I think that's what the company wanted them to do. And you can, you can drive personal convenience. You can drive personal convenience if you're not loaded. You, and if you didn't have no hours and, and, and the shop was down the street that they needed you to take to the shop to get the tires fixed, I think personal convenience could work in that situation. Instead of sending somebody out there to the truck to get or to fix the tires and say that the tires in bad shape, but it's in good enough shape to get to the yard, which is a few, maybe a few clicks down the way. So personal conveyance can work into that. But I, hey, this is her story. This is her story. I want you guys thoughts about it in the comments below. I mean, what do you guys think? I mean, do you guys feel on what she has said and the reason why she left rail so far? They're out of hours. So I'm like, you want to be claimed you so big on safety, but you just put my life in his life in jeopardy because you can have your repair team or your maintenance team come out and repair the tires. So that was another thing that rubbed me the wrong way. Then on top of that, and if I'm lying, I'm dying. If you need a truck, they would say, hey, I need you to go pick up your truck. And you're like, oh, okay, I'm getting a new truck. The trucks be really in somebody's backyard that abandoned the company that quit. They're not telling you that you're about to pull up to somebody's house to get a trailer out of somebody's yard. So they not, so really you repossessing their trucks for them. That is so unsafe. So I just felt like real, like y'all bogus. I ain't gonna lie. I, it just don't fit my morals and values because I'm like, I can't trust what you're saying. I get it. I understand. <laughs> I really do. I understand. Y'all, this is her story. This is how she feels. But you gotta understand too, you're a rookie you're new to this this is all brand new so i can understand a lot of this is like what's going on why this why that take a little bit of time to understand the company that you're driving for you're new 
the reason why trucks are abandoned of course they are abandoned because of the drivers for whatever reason and they want you to go and pick up that truck now i can understand if the truck is in somebody's backyard they know and the person that dropped the truck off in the backyard knows that you're coming so i'm sure you're not going to just walk up in the backyard i'm, I'm sure you're going to just knock on the door so i'm i, I get you you're going into strange places i i went to a, a truck stop to pick up a truck that was abandoned i went to a junkyard to pick up a truck that was abandoned of course i went to pick up a truck where it was in the woods i went to get a truck that was in the impound and of course i went and got a truck that was at somebody's house in their driveway you trying to make me thinking i'm picking up a truck and the whole time i'm pulling up to somebody's house this is unsafe for me and then on top of that i just got a bill in the mail for real um and this was on me i will take accountability for it. i just got a bill in the mail for like three thousand some dollars because i received their training which i should have read in the beginning but i'm like dang how you gonna charge me three thousand some dollars i didn't even receive my cdl from y'all i guess the little month training that i was with the training was three thousand some dollars and they trying to put me on a payment plan <laughs> you can get it back in blood because you're not getting it shout out to that's brie and her story time on why she left rail and the reasons for her to leave rail was all on her so guys go over there to her TikTok because she has a, a video up leaving snyder so definitely go over there and check it out all right thank you for listening i really do appreciate it and stay tuned for the next one Shot back.